Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play New Horizons. Last time we uh, discovered a the saber-toothed tiger, which apparently made us the greatest adventurer in the world, and as a result, we got the opportunity to purchase this treasure map. So we go, we can look at our items. This is our map of the medallion. Yes, this, uh, there's an old treasure room in from El Dorado, which is the legendary city of gold. So let's take a look and see where that it is. Hmm... Okay, looks like X marks the spot there. Now, having played this game before uh, several times, I happen to know exactly where that is. But you may not know what to do or how to get there or, you know, how what we need to do about figuring out where that place should be. So, what we're going to do... We can still save for a lot of days and we have a lot of money. So what we're going to do is we're going to figure out how exactly or where exactly that place is. And to do that, we need to go visit with a cartographer. So what we're going to do is we're going to head up here, and we're going to head up to the port of Amsterdam. We're going to go in here. Guess we'll stop in here. That's fine. And what we need to do is we need to figure out exactly like where in the world that map is. But the first thing we're going to do is watch this. We're going to start by saving our game. Okay, and then we go in here, and there's a little delay, which means that we're still part of the story that can happen. Okay, now, uh, if you go to the cartographer, t cartographer Mercator here, you can go to Locate. We can analyze the treasure map. Uh, two gold ingots. Ooh, that's expensive. But, okay, we'll pay. Let's take a look. Zero degrees north, 30 degrees east. That sounds like that's in Europe. Now, very simply, what we're going to do to get our money back is we're just going to load the game. And now we have... Now we know exactly where to go, and it's, it was free. Well, that's not a bad deal. So, uh, let's see. If we use our sextant right now... Yeah, you can't really tell where we are just because we're in the port. We're in a port, but... Um, but uh, we need to know exactly where we, where we can go and like where we are in the world. So, and while we're here in the area, we're going to hire a few guys on our team, our standard guys, and pick up a weapon and armor. We're also going to start looking for a, a new ship. So if we go to the sextant, we can see we're 54 degrees north and 6 degrees east. So we're actually pr relatively close. Um, the area that we need to go is actually on the Nile River, which is what, where we were going to go anyway. However, um, yours may not... Your... Um, let me go here during the daytime. Uh, your map may not be in that area, so it may be a little bit further away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you... Uh, what I normally would do if the map was was telling us to go outside of Europe. And I'm going to build my fleet first before I go and go treasure hunting. So we're going to start by hiring George Eggle. If you followed my other walkthroughs, um, you know exactly what, I've do what I'm doing here. And if you haven't, then this is definitely a good guy to hire. He's cheap, and uh, he immediately becomes a good asset to your team. So we're immediately going to have him do something. You know, make Camille my first mate, sure. And George Eggle is going to be my chief navigator. Actually, we're going to make Camille my bookkeeper. Because he actually has the ability to do both. And we also need to hire some more crew. No, I don't care about that. Yes, that's right. Your help isn't good enough. Yeah, whatever. They'll still join us. Yes, that's fine. 26 guys. Cool. But we only need three. And we might as well fill up. Good. Because we need to reassign and make sure that we can oops, that we can see things far away. Okay, so 50 and 50. Yep, we're good. Okay, great. Okay, now we're done here. It means we can that part of the story can still be triggered. Um, I, my, I guess. But probably not after we until we find that gold medallion, but. We, uh, we don't need to do that just yet. Yep, there's the port of Lubeck. We'll be going there right now because we need to go pick up a weapon and some armor. Yep, George already got a level up. I like it. So we go up here to the port of Copenhagen and we're going to pick up some armor. Okay. May I help you by yes. And the plate mail armor. We'll get that. 8,000 gold pieces, and we'll put it on. Yes. 
Am I interested in anything else? No, not really. Now, you can really choose what you want to get for your weapon at this point. Um, just because Pietro's not a great fighter, I really think it's a good idea for him to have a specialty weapon. So he can just focus his attacks on that. And then once he builds up his level, he can switch up to a straight sword. So we're going to go over here to the port of Lubeck. And hopefully we'll have made it before the 2 a.m. before the 2 a.m. deadline. Okay, 12.30, perfect. We can just go in and out a few times until it hits 2 a.m. And here comes 2 a.m. Perfect, or 2.30, that works just as well. Okay, so we go over to the, here to the weapon store. And now we're going to buy the Flamberge. Yep, there it is. Excellent. Level A fighting sword. Needless to say, viewers, I think you know where I'm going, going with this. What we're going to be doing next in the next part of our quest. Yep, we are definitely, as always, going to be doing some fighting. Because you could go get fame and adventure and report to the king that way. But I don't think that's a good idea because if you report to the king, you actually lose some... Uh, you actually lose the opportunity to get fame. So, that's never a good thing. Okay, so now we're going to make a few more stops. And who's that? that the, are they looking for us? Hmm. I don't know why that guy would be after us, but okay. We're going to stop here in London. Pick up a guy here. I'm just kind of making my world tour. And uh, we need to start looking for a ship, too. A better ship. Let's see, there's Antoine Fitch. Gonna get him. Yes, that'd be fine. Oops. I only need to treat him once, but... Hey, he'll join us for 20 gold pieces. Good enough. And we're gonna make him our first mate. Do that real quick. Yep, thank you. Excellent. Slowly starting to build our team. I like it. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest here in the inn and um, wake up the next day because we need to start looking for a ship. Yes, that'll be fine. Okay, meet you guys after we've had a nice little nappy. Okay, we're refreshed, we're ready to go. So now we want to go check and see if, if we can get a good ship here. Looking, of course, for a Venetian. Five U ships ready to sail, and nope, not one here. So I would suggest that you go around looking for a Venetian. If you aren't comfortable using a Venetian just yet, it would be okay to be start looking for a La Real ship, which is another good ship to do. So, okay, I'm going to go resupply. Well, I don't need to resupply just yet. Okay, so I'll meet you guys back on the high seas. All right. Oops. A couple more guys are going to go higher. Who's this? They're heading for Bristol. Okay. Well, he's having some issues getting there. Oh, we're actually going to head up to Bristol ourselves. Okay. And we go up here. We're going to go to the cafe. Hi, another good guy over here. And we're going to keep looking for ships. Yep, this is Anthony Morgan. Yes. We'll buy him the cafe specialty. Why not? The interesting mustache this guy's got. And how does he manage to steer a ship when he's got his eyes closed the whole time? I don't think that's kind of interesting. Okay. We may have to go, just because looking at our funds, we may have to go with a La Royale at first. Or a Galleon. I don't really like using Galleons, but... Or a Flemish Galleon. Either one of those would be okay for now, just to get us going um, until we can build up some money and then get a Venetian. Because it's going to be expensive to get a Venetian and to maintain it. So that's probably, and just looking at our funds, that's probably what we're going to have to do. Which is fine. Okay. And now I'm going to make a quick stop in Lisbon and just look there for a ship. Now what does the daytime? And another level up. Another level up. Excellent. Very good. We're just making a lot of levels. I like it. All right, let's look for a ship. 
Hmm, okay, I look for used chip. And, man, nothing there. Hmm. Well, that's okay, viewers. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer to find the ship that you need, but since we have a light galley and we have a lot of money, or we a relatively good amount of money, we should be all right. I'm looking for a ship, so. Okay, viewers, I'm actually running out of time, so I'm going to go ahead and stop here. Uh, next time, we're going to continue our search for another ship, and hopefully we'll start our uh, quest, or we'll start our um, process of making a bunch of money to get us out of Europe. But until then, this is BCS Buster signing off. Take care, y'all.